Steve Payne, Tennessee Tech University. Tell, tell us about getting the chance to be the Tennessee Tech head coach and what it's been like since you were hired. Well, it's obviously been a been a real fast paced deal since we've been going recruiting and uh, establishing everything we want to do for our program as far as the foundation of what we do on the basketball court and in the community on our campus. But um, the change has not been a lot. I don't take any more ownership in the program now than I did when I worked for Mike Sutton. So uh, ultimately it comes down to coaching basketball and, and still recruiting good players and coaching good players. Is the fact you already had been an assistant coach with the program make the transition easier? Well, I think it does uh, under our circumstances that, that I'd been heavily involved with the on-the-floor things and, and all the areas of the program before and uh, the fact that, that I know the young men in our program, our strengths, our weaknesses, what we need to run, what we need to work on, uh, there's, not a, not a little, there's not a getting to know them period. So, yeah, I think, I think it's helped in this situation. Tell us about bringing Happy Osborne to your coaching staff. I've known uh, Hap for a long time, and and really when it came about, I didn't I didn't know that he would uh, even consider it. I called him to, for advice on who I needed to hire, and we started talking, and um, he was ready for a move, and and uh, it's been a it's been a great addition to our staff, both as someone that I trust, someone with a lot of experience, and uh, we're excited to have him. Kevin Murphy has been named OVC preseason Player of the Year. Tell us what you expect from him during the senior season. Uh, I expect him to be more efficient, uh, be a smarter tougher basketball player. He's always had the ability to score the basketball, and uh, those things won't change. He'll still be a, a guy that we look to when the game's on the line to, to make a big play on offense, but I uh, expect him to be the best defensive player in the league and be a better rebounder and, and really learn the game and grow as a student athlete as far as his intelligence of the game, what's a good shot, what's a bad shot, uh, what's the, what it means to be a leader of your team. Those are things that we're working on with Kevin. Do you use the loss in the OVC tournament finals last year as motivation this year? I, I think no question. We were we were really deflated after that loss, and I think it showed up some in our postseason play and our practices and our preparation for the CIT last year in the, in the postseason tournament. But, uh, yeah, I think there's no question that that driving goal was always to play an NCAA tournament. And feeling like we were really close last year, uh, I don't think any of our lives want to leave anything on the table. What do you like most about your team this year? Uh, there's, some, there's some maturity about them. Uh, you know, it's good and bad. Sometimes they pick their spots when they think it's important. We work really hard, but for the most part, they're pretty willing to listen and, and be coached and be unselfish and all the things we're talking, they're, they're hearing. Uh, the, the biggest thing I, I think I like about them is their willingness to learn right now. What is the biggest challenge for your team? Get them to understand that everything's important. I mean, some of our, the things our fifth-year seniors um, know already, uh, our freshmen don't know. So we have to teach it like they don't know it. And... Uh, Sometimes they get a little uh, bored or they try to pick their spots of what's important, and everything's important, and that's what we're, uh, we're preaching to them on a daily basis. Tell us about your non-conference schedule. Uh, it's a little tougher than we'd like for it to be. We open up at Miami with Coach Laranaga, uh, who took George Mason to the Final Four, uh, expecting a, a really pressure warning a defense out of those guys and, and a good test to start us off. And We have road games at West Virginia, uh, at Duquesne, uh, at uh, High Point, and, we've, and at Evansville. So we've, we've got a good regional schedule there and, and with some good teams and we've got some home games with uh, regional rivals like East Tennessee State, Lipscomb um, and, and a few others that, that we're really excited about. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.